th th this is one of the situations of where it says in the word of God that, you know, uh, when we clean our house, when we get rid of the demons, we need to replace it with the word of God. We need to replace it with the bread. We need to pray, replace it with Christ. Right. And if we fall back into being in the world, we fall back into these things that are not of God. Those demons come back more and more. Clearly. They've come back worse in Kanye now. And he's completely come, came into agreement with it. You know, when we see Marilyn Manson, we was like, oh, you know, maybe he's talking to him. Maybe he's, you know, spreading some kind of word with him. You know what I mean? Some, anything could be going on. Anything. That's over. That's over. That's over. Kanye is completely in repro mode. Completely leading people to damnation. Completely in the same predicament that we would say Jay-Z and them are in. I don't know who this dude is. Kanye just came out with a song featuring Playboy Cardi. Also featuring, I think, Ty Dolla Signs. I'm not too sure. But in the song, I'm going to let you hear what it says. Listen to this. Mm. All right, so that was Isaiah Robin. You could go check him out on YouTube. So he did a, a bunch of videos about what Kanye's been doing recently. And if you didn't hear that last bit, it, he Kanye was on stage saying, I'm the new Jesus. Mm. Hey. B. Mm. So what's up with your boy? <laughs> what's going on? Mm. What's going on with him? His, his, his marketing for this new album has been really dark. Yeah. He's back to his old lyrics. Of course, cussing, talking about sex, drugs, guns. He's as wife walking around naked, pretty like no, just naked. Not even pretty much. <laughs> She's naked, walking around the city. You know that's his staff though. That's his, the way he he markets clothes to play a <laughs> little bag. Mm. <laughs> Do y'all think something may? I know he came out and said he struggled with mental health. You think certain events in his life, like going through a divorce and you know not being able to see his kids consistently like he once was, you think that might have triggered some kind of? That might have triggered some kind of like reaction from him to where he's kind of like spiraling out of control for real that's what i want that's what i'm gonna say that's what i well, want to think the angle isaiah was taking was you know the whole the whole scripture says like if you you know cast out a demon make sure you you know don't go back come to back it. seven yeah, times yeah, yeah. stronger they find a house empty he sees this as kanye's demons came back worse yeah, if he was a believer with the Holy Spirit, can you get demons? Well, that's a whole nother conversation. Oh, it is a conversation. But then, what does that mean? Was he ever a Christian? That's the question. Only God know the heart of man. Well, I was saying it could be that he was never a believer, or with him coming out saying that he struggled with mental health. Sometimes they have certain triggers that can, yeah, yeah, certain triggers mm -hmm. can spiral, and he can, he can look strongly like a like a like an unbeliever. Yeah, but it could just be a spell that he's in. He might come back six months from now. And, and be a totally different it might be a totally different situation i don't know we don't know the point is what he's doing right now is it's not good worse than what he was doing before <laughs> it's worse you think you think it's, it's, it's worse than yay because that was the yes. album before jesus came yes this is worse uh, this is worse. it seems worse because you just you know <laughs> you just got on stage and you blasphemed um <laughs> but to me it's like i don't know man i feel I feel kind of in a way um, duped. You know you what I'm saying? Feel duped? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I mean, I went out and bought the Jesus is King album, you, first you, album I bought in a long time. You believe them? I wanted to. I wanted to believe real change could happen, but you know, I struggle with um, that whole thing of people coming yeah, out. If they claim you, you, you down with them, you ride with them. No, no, not even that. <laughs> if you come out of something, I'm looking at the clock like. How long is it going to be before you go back? Like, I, I don't want to believe that. I want to believe that you got set free. You got delivered from what you're dealing with. But we see the clock is ticking on people. And it's like, okay, so you were good for a minute, but you just needed some, you needed time to wear in for you to go back to your old ways. Like, that's how I felt. I think, I think everybody was hopeful. I was always cautious in my in my mind of this could be just his christian season like, like uh, <laughs> oh yeah i want to give us a good two albums for the, for the support was, that i gave i mean get, well Jesus one and a half yeah. <laughs> maybe a half uh one total yeah. <laughs> but, if you combine Don yeah, if you combine Jesus, them both Jesus, it's, yeah. it's one solid christian hip-hop album but um yeah I, I was always worried that this was gonna happen um that he would bounce back to this uh, I was hopeful, and I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful, like 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 um, Plain said. He, he, this could be just a bad moment in his walk. I, you don't know. The point is, you don't know. You don't know if it's he never was, he is, and he's falling back. Like you, 
you just have to pray. That's it. Isn't it worse though when you have to answer for this on every interview? Except saying that you didn't know Jesus is pretty wild. Like that's, I, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's if that, very that's, bad theology. That's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the whole like. Uh, you know, don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit, but that's pretty close. Because people yeah. would be angry at God. Like, he, you know, he came to Christ. When he came to Christ, his wife left him. He wasn't able to see his kids. Like, his whole life changed. Yeah, it like, got worse. Well, it, well, it got worse. It, it seemed like it got worse. Like, when Jesus King hit, and then, like, right in between Jesus King and Donda, it mm-hmm. seemed like it got bad. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm like, and I and and I think that like we, I remember we had the conversation about Black China. Like she was going through, yeah. like you know that that hyper when you get saved, everything's good. And mm-hmm. then and then God goes, okay, right. now you can walk by yourself. Is that I'm, I'm right by you. You know what I mean? But it's like well, where's God at and all this stuff. But at the same time, I feel like um, Kanye, in my opinion, is one of those people that. Um, instead of influencing culture, I think culture influenced him a little bit more. Like I, I'm thinking about Drink Champs. Like he got on Drink Champs and he just was wilding on Drink Champs. And like Nori was like, "Yeah, man, drink, 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 drink." And he was like, "You know what I'm saying?" So I'm like, "I don't know." Or maybe he just wasn't good. He wasn't a disciple. You know good. His, his off mic, I mean, non-performance version of him. I never really saw the Christian part. His, his the only reason we knew as a Christian was the album rollout stuff. Mm-hmm. I never saw him like in an off. Cuff moment sounding like oh born again believer did you did you Sunday well, service I, I saw I saw interviews a lot of interviews not, that's, that's on mic I'm talking oh about yeah off, off mic all the interview interviews saw, yeah only interview I saw one time it almost sounded like Hebrew Israelitish a little bit saying about the tribes or whatnot um, I don't know but I just think I, I'm on the side of his mental health I think he just, I think he, he had a real struggling yeah I think he had a genuine conversion because he don't strike me as the kind of person who's gonna play around you know or just make something up like he seemed pretty. Yeah, it definitely didn't seem like it was made up. But like it no. seemed like he had you had to commit to the the lifestyle. The <laughs> discipleship. <laughs> man. Who, who yeah. discipling him? Who was he? You know, yeah. he's kind of prideful a little bit. Who now, now this goes back to what Mike Todd was saying. When Mike Todd was like, "I got a chance to go hang out at Sunday service," and called me out. Like now, do you walk back? How do you, how do you walk back? Like your feelings of this person? I don't think people regret rooting for him during that time. I mean, I saw I saw um, Derek Miner say, "Man, I wish he was still in that season because yeah. that, that was a good feeling." I think for people, like, man, look what God could do could bring somebody. Yeah. But then, yeah. as soon as that anti-Semitic stuff started, it was like, oh, it's over. It's yeah, over. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, gone. He just don't. It just never sounded like it took hold. And you know what? What um, made me think of is the whole parable of the sower. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, is this true. a is this a bad soil situation where he got he got the word? It landed on him, but it was rocky soil. Mm-hmm. Could it be a situation like it, it was working, but then as soon as something you know it got that's hard, trouble. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's what the Bible says. Or is yeah. it one of those situations where you got to pull like a Kirk Cameron, where you actually when you commit, you got to decommit from the world. You got to leave it. Yeah, 100%. you got to leave it behind. And and it was almost like, how are how are you as Kanye West going to leave that behind? Yeah, right. The rich, the the yeah. rich man. The yeah. last things he was saying before that, when he was calling out all the industry people, like, yeah, these people sold, they sold, they did this. He said, even me. He said, my mom it was a sacrifice. Like he was saying, like, oh, all yeah, kind, I remember him saying he that. was saying all kind of stuff yeah. like that. Then he disappeared for months. And then he comes out the blue. Now he's doing this. You don't know if it's industry pressure. We don't know if it's oh, mental health. Yeah. We don't know if it's unresolved trauma. We don't really know what it is. Like it's a lot of. What did he say about friends. his mom though? He, he said his mom was a sacrifice. Yeah. He said, Le- he said LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, all these folks, they, they, they playing lost, the game. They lost their so most they, important person in their life, and they, they say it's all sacrifice. That sounds like the, <sighs> the ravings of a madman to me. Exactly. I don't think he <laughs> believes that he <laughs> sacrificed his mom. Exactly. The ravings but of a madman. It does. I mean, honestly. Don't but I don't know. I, I just think it's just pray for him. You, you have no idea where he is, if he's completely gone, if he never was there. I have no idea. I just, I just think, I think for him, man, it's just one of those things where I think the culture, man, he, he, he wants to be in it, but not of it, but he wants to like, no, he, he loves he, it. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's the fight in him. The fight in him is to still be accepted by hip hop culture because he knows his impact on hip hop culture. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like he's still mm-hmm. like on his, on one of the songs, he's like, I'm the king. And like, y'all address me like the king because I'm the king of this. And I think because so many people. When when you were supposed to be up out of here and you're not out of here and you're still strong and you're about to have the number one album in the country independently without these people, 
that's so a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I think my only problem with the whole situation is I think he had the culture, in my opinion, he had the culture start looking at God and start rapping about God. Mm -hmm. And then now it's like, oh, okay, so we could do God and I could do my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what a lot of people kind of left off. Yeah. Start like even going into Donda, like we we had those conversations all about like Donda and how it how it was, but it was a it was a, if you really look at it, it was a lot of mixture in that. It was too. mixture, definitely. You yeah, know what I mean? Jesus is King was his pure Christian album, honestly. Closer, you, it was closer. Yeah. yeah. So I just I just think, man, I, but it I, was I, also terrible. So <laughs> maybe he was like, I'm not as good when I'm, I'm like this. Blood roll, <laughs> you know what I'm well, I think wasn't it? I heard somebody else say that recently. <laughs> I think it was more like the Snoop effect. You know what I'm saying? Like Snoop put out a gospel album, but he's not the one that's making majority of the music. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't really want to be the front and center of that of that project. I don't think Kanye that kind of I don't think that I think Kanye I think Kanye knew what he was talking about. I just think the pressures of life and like you said, that seed of didn't go on good ground that he stuck. And then who's discipling him? Think about it. You drop yeah. an album and you just you asking all types of pastors to come to Sunday service. It's, it's not like a, a true pastor that's saying. Who is Kanye listening to? Who I think who's he doesn't tell have Kanye any, what to do. I don't think who he has a friend. possibly tell him what to do. I don't like, think he has thing. a friend that will give him the truth. Now he, he had a pastor. I, I forgot his name. To the but but um, the payroll. What'd you say? Oh, okay. Rich Wilkerson. Yeah, yeah. from Miami. Okay. So I mean, they had pastors, but the question, like you said, I mean, we know somebody that was close to that situation. It was like, yo, it was like. Talking to the wall. He's yeah. like, do it my way or is it? Anybody seen any interviews with his wife? Does, does she do interviews? She don't she talk. Don't talk. That's, she why just, that's what I'm saying. Like, him. She's like that's, a walking mannequin. That's almost <laughs> just, probably so mostly the problem. In the industry, look at that. It's possibly, they call it a handler. Pretty much yeah. somebody who's there to patrol and watch. The that's probably who she is. Yeah. They, say he's, they say she's probably a handler. Because <laughs> it, it's just weird how, <laughs> it's weird how she, she looks. She favors Kim. In a lot of ways, Cat she, Williams said she's white. <laughs> no, everybody's always said that. Cat Williams said that. Like they him. give you the yeah. wife kit. They His give you the wife the same. She looked like Kim on a photo yeah, side she, by side. Some, you didn't see that some photo? Some of the photos. She I, I she look favors. like him. I think she, she changed him. her hair recently, but in her in her past, like a couple months ago, it was photos they side yeah, by side. They they yeah. Like that. Okay. But yeah, he said she makes him free though. That's what that's that's what some recently where he was like she lets him do whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably like a. The yeah. very it, could any of this She's probably live in the R. Kelly situation and we just don't know about it? I hope not. The, the vibe he's giving <laughs> off is that she, he could do whatever he wants with her. Is the vibe Diddy and Cassie? Does y'all think that? That's a good, that's a good. No, nah, I don't get that vibe. <laughs> nah, <I don't laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't nah, get Diddy that. was on a different level. <laughs> um, <laughs> could any of this be when he went to the church, he saw worse things in the church than mm -hmm. he saw when he was in the world? Yep. Could, could it be any of that? Because imagine the temptation of a pastor that has the ear of Kanye to not treat him differently. True. To oh, not okay, bite, yeah. to not like kind of cater to him a little bit. Who has the strength to say to somebody like that, bro, you're wrong? I mean, That's he was you're wrong. talking about Straight Lakewood. Up. He was at Lakewood. Joel Osteen, remember he right well, with Jesus King stuff? That's not the place to go. So no, but what I'm saying is, I'm, what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. What I'm saying is that a lot of people were enamored by who he was. Mm -hmm. Pastors included. So it's like when he came here, he was at he was at your boy's church. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, he was my boy. New birth. He was at New no, Bird. Jamal Bryant. Jamal Bryant's nah, church. You know what I'm saying? So he was. <laughs> nah, no offense to any of y'all, but that's not everything. the place to go. Don't come here and go to New Birth. Holy. Uh, don't do it. Yeah. Jesus, Sean, weed we, we about to get the sponsorship. Hey, don't do it. <laughs> oh, really? That ain't the place to go. You want to smoke weed at church? There you go. But I'm just saying that these are different. He went the celebrity route to promote Jesus' King. If you remember right, like he went the Christian popular pastors and all this other stuff. So I, I don't Can think you I, imagine though you go into a church that's supposed to be about Jesus, but they treat you like Jesus. Yeah. Like they roll out the red carpet for you. Yeah. Exactly. They they want to get pictures with you. Yeah. They make you feel like you could do whatever you want. Can you imagine that? Yeah. They, that? Excuse, like, no pause. they excuse his like behavior said, a lot. No too. pause, no discipleship, no sit down and let's tell you what this really is about. <coughs> he went from I'm accepting Jesus, now I'm in the forefront. No understanding of what it really means to walk with Christ for real. Nobody who's really going to tell him what to do and how to do it that mm -hmm. he's going to listen to. So now you're seeing somebody spiral out of control because they never really had a, uh, a firm foundation. And it's hard. He might have accepted Christ, but... You know, after that, that's when they get real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. So if you don't that's want to walk you through that. Yeah. You know Especially in your level, because, I mean, you, you're you're the most 
probably out of all rappers out right now, you're probably top five most known rapper in the world. Yeah. Top three. Top yeah. three, yeah. Hey, what's going on? I hope you like that video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Trackstars Universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now. Right now.